Hey, kia ora. Helen Browns here coming to you live from Mesa in Arizona for the final evening. <gasps> final. Oh, it's been a long road to get here. Five and a half months. We are going to be leaving here tomorrow morning. We will be doing the Facebook Live from here before we leave. Um, how is our project going? How's your shake-up Saturday gone? Have you had a super fantastic sparkling day? Um, we've had an incredible day here. It has been a blast. Um, we've still got some packing to do. We've been packing, packing, and more packing. Um, I've got this big area over here by the door that <laughs> of trash that needs to go out, of stuff that needs to go in the lockers. After my um, update, after lunch, I've, um, I did an update around 1 o'clock this afternoon, mountain time, and um, showed you what we had done so far. And then I went and had my lunch break, and by the time I got back from that, um, moved everything, tidied it up. Okay, this is all the stuff to go into the lockers. This is all the stuff to go to the trash. Um, I've even put them in piles of which lockers they're to go into so it makes it easy, quick and easy to get them out of here and into the lockers. And was getting ready to go outside when it started raining. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. It has been raining on and off all afternoon. Um, there's been like about five minutes between showers and I'm just like, screw it. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep moving stuff around. Yes, it means I've got this big pile of stuff here in the middle of the floor that I have to try and negotiate around. Um... Zephy's been sleeping in the bed most of the afternoon um, and I'm sort of like sweetie girl I'm gonna have to move you because I gotta lift the bed up to put some stuff away and um, she just sort of like looks at me and puts her head down underneath the blankets like I don't want to know you're just gonna have to deal with me here so I think it's gonna have to come to the point where I'm actually gonna have to lift her up but have, so have not been able to do laundry today have not been able to go out and do any ch tire pressure checking um, have not turned the engine on today because I gotta go turn the power off first before I start the engine so it's been um it's been a wild day today it has there's been so much packing going on but like I said as I've been moving through the areas and clearing out the areas I've been cleaning I still have to vacuum um but I wanted to get everything done first so I'd done all the traipsing in and out first before I did any sweeping vacuuming washing the floors although washing the floors is going to be fun with the dog around um, <laughs> Yeah, usually on the last times that the times that I wash the floors, I put her on the long lead outside with the door open so I can watch her and keep an eye on her. And I quickly wash the floors and take them up outside with me. Um, so there's not a lot of vinyl to clean. Um, prop the mop up and then we go for a walk and come back and the floors are basically dry. So it um, doesn't take long for the floors to dry. Um, but when you've got a dog inside that you're trying to keep off the floors, yeah, that's a bit of a challenge. Um, so it has been an incredible day today. Um, it's surprising how much stuff I've pulled out of places. Like I go, I'm going through one pile of things and I'm like, where the hell did all this come from? Um, you know, yes, I have used some of it over the last five and a half months, but it's like being, oh my gosh, now I've got to find something. Now I've got to put it back where it went. Where did it go? And I know that there's already some stuff that are away in places that it was not in before because I couldn't remember where it originally came from. <laughs> What are the one of the trouble? So it's just sort of like, okay, we're just gonna put that if we can remember exactly where it went, which cupboard it came out of, to which drawer it came out of, it will go back in there. If not, it's finding a new place. Um, it's just as simple as that. You know, we're not gonna stuff around with this. We've got to get this stuff away so we can travel because can't even get the slides in right now. I mean, well, Zephy's crates in the way to start with. Um, so in her food bowl and stuff, but that stuff will get cleaned up tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, so we've still got a bit to, we've got a bit to do, especially putting the stuff away in the lockers and I don't have my overhead light on right now. The light that you see on my face is all sunshine and, but there's still a lot of cloud out there and it's just out from behind the rain clouds right now. And according to the phone, it's meant to be raining again in about five minutes. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. The one day I do not need it to rain so I can get stuff put away in the lockers and you decide to rain on and off after three, four weeks with no rain, now it's decided it's going to come in, so, um, but you know, that's just the way it is, if I have to, and, and I haven't pulled the card out yet, it's it's sitting underneath the actual RV, so it's out, but it's under the RV, and I have Zephy's outdoor bed out there, so I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put that, so I'm thinking I might actually break that down, like take the bolts out, um, and fold it up, and then it can go into one of the um, under lockers, otherwise I've got to bring it inside somewhere, and I'm sort of like, I have no idea where I'm going to put it inside unless it goes on top of her crate, which goes on top of my bed um, when we're traveling. But then it can easily slide off. And so I'm sort of like, <sighs> so I think I'm actually going to get out there um, 
and just take the bolts out. It's just four bolts, take them out, collapse it down. Um, and I'm going to find something with the bolts. Hmm. I will find an envelope and tape it to the tape it to the bed. Um, but if I fold it up and put it into the um, into one of the lockers, that's going to be so much easier for travel. And I can actually break it right down, um, like take the pipes out, roll the bedding up, and all that sort of thing too. So I keep it all together. So that maybe it's probably going to be what happens with it. But of course, it's wet right now because it's kind of sticking up from underneath the RV and it's been raining. <laughs> And of course, so I haven't got any laundry done because I can't get over to the laundry and back again. But where I am staying tomorrow night, I am like five sites away. I think it's like five or six sites away from the laundry. Um, so I'm going to be able to go over to the laundry, put everything in the machines, come back to the RV, which means Zephy's only going to be left alone um, about 10 to 15 minutes at a time while I put stuff in the laundry, take it out of the washing machine, put it into the dryer, go pick it up, fold it and all that sort of stuff. Because I actually fold it when I'm in the laundry. So that will be the longest one that, that should be by itself. It will be about half an hour um, while I fold the laundry after it's been done in the dryer. Because bringing it back into the RV and trying to fold it with a dog around who's wanting to sniff everything. She's getting a dog hair and everything. That's all like, I would like to fold it clean with no dog hair. Put it in the basket, take it back, put it straight in the drawers and get as little dog hair on it as possible. Because I know that when, I, when I'm out, see, look, I've got, oh, actually, that's my hair. This is hers. This is hers. This is mine. So yeah, so between the two of us, my clothes get covered and I've been going like this all day because I'm getting dog hair on me. Um, so yeah, but um, oh, that's not one of mine, silver. <laughs> so yeah, so um, we've had a, a whole day routine's been out of whack all day. It's been awesome. I have to tell you that book that I'm listening to, um, The Aladdin Factor by Jack Canfield and Mark um, Victor Hansen, amazing book. Um, I think I still have two hours left, um, but my ear was actually starting to get a little sore with the um, Bluetooth in it, so I um, took it out for a little bit. And um, but yeah, that was it was. A, I mean, I could, probably could have put it on the other speaker, but I like the Bluetooth because it didn't matter. I could leave the phone in one place; it didn't matter where in the RV I go, I can hear it. Whereas this is a little harder to carry around, but this is this cute little case. This. Is a lot easier to carry around than this because when I go into the bedroom I can't hear this but this I can have it at the volume that I need it at which is not very loud um, and just wear it and um, so I'll just put that back in there I'll put this the right way so it stops squishing that but there we go um, I have to put it back in its little case otherwise I'm afraid Zephy will go after it and chew it um, like she does my little round ring light that I usually put on the laptop um, but yeah so um, so I'm going to jump out during rain showers to get the stuff in the lockers tonight um, I'm going to try and get the I'm going to look at the weather forecast and see if there's any more rain scheduled and then um, I mean we were on a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain been on and off all day we would maybe get like five to ten minutes with no rain and then we had rain again so but, oh, that's her toys. It's been funny. Every time I put something, she's watched me and I put a pick, found a toy, a toy of hers and put it back in her box. She's like over there sniffing it, taking it out, sniffing it all around. And sometimes she puts it back in and sometimes she just walks away and leaves it there. And I'm like, really? I just put that away so I wouldn't trip over it. Um, but yeah, so we've got, um, we've been cleaning, we've been packing and doing more packing. Um, now I just got to get the stuff away in the lockers and get stuff away under the bed that goes back under the bed. Um, there's some clothes that need to be hung up and put back in the closet, like my coats um, that I that I had out for the rain and that sort of thing. And um, yeah, we should be done soon. <laughs> but right now, it's um it's dinner time, so I'm gonna have some dinner and then get back into. Although it's not raining right now, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go put some stuff in the locker. So I will catch you guys tomorrow for Serenity Sunday, and for our final broadcast from Mesa in Arizona. But before I go, do not forget. For those of us here in the U.S., minus the states that do not do daylight savings, everybody else, you guys are springing forward tonight. Um, yeah, so does that mean that Arizona gets an extra hour of sleep? Because here in Arizona, they don't do daylight saving time, but yet the Pacific time catches up with us. So do we actually gain an hour of sleep?
not sure how that works. I just know my 9 a.m. morning meetings are now going to be 8 a.m. starting Monday. And I'm sort of like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> go have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Do not forget to correct your clocks tonight if you have clocks that you have to manually correct. Because um, everybody's going to be springing into daylight saving except for Arizona. Is it Arizona, Alaska, and Hawaii that don't do daylight saving? It's either two or three states. I know Arizona is one of them. And I think the other one or two is... Alaska and Hawaii I think but you guys know the states that you live in whether or not you start to do daylight saving so remember spring forward tomorrow so we will catch you bright and early before we hit the road we will be um, when we get on we'll either be ready to hit the road about ready to hit the road it could be before Zephy's walk or after Zephy's walk I haven't decided yet it just depends um, how the morning goes but have a super fantastic sparkling evening and we will catch you for the final time from Mesa Arizona tomorrow morning for Serenity Sunday. Hey, Conera.